Now it is on to photography. Um, the Robert Kappa Gold Medal for Exceptional Courage and Enterprise, which is sponsored by Time Magazine, goes to André Lyon, who took dramatic images of the Siege of Miserata that claimed the lives last year of both Chris Hondras and Tim Hetherington, both past OPC award winners. It was Leon who posted the first message on Facebook that Hetherington had died and that Hondras was in grave condition. The pictures from almost dawn in Libya were taken at great personal risk in the tradition of Robert Kappa. In Leon's own words, we all paid high prices for those pictures to exist, and those pictures exist because real human beings suffered immeasurably. Is Andre here? It's, um, you know, um, I haven't prepared anything to say. Sorry, my English is not so very good. But it's, um, it's very, you know, special to be here tonight, 25th of uh, April, right? It's, um, this day, one year ago, I was sitting in Misrata in a room in a little apartment in the hospital, you know, talking with Mary Colvin about, uh, I had just an experience that I just died. You know, I say, Mary, we, we got back to this room and then we, I, I tell her, hey Mary, I, I'm lucky that I came back. And Mary said, hey, let's do a pasta. And then we made a <laughs> spaghetti, a horrible spaghetti that Shivers came with from Benghazi and left behind. And we did this horrible spaghetti and we were eating together. <laughs> and, um, and Mary said, man, how old are you? I said, oh, I'm 35, 30, you know, almost 40, so. <laughs> you know? And she said, there is no end, there is no other end for, uh, for people like us, you know? And she was right in her, in her case. Uh, and that was happening just like uh, a few days after uh, Chris Hondros and Tim Hetherington died in Misrata. And it was very, very heavy. No one expected Libya, I, th I, I didn't expect Libya to be as Libya was. Uh, we were in Bahrain, John Moore is here, you know, just before leaving Bahrain to Libya, we were working in Bahrain together and they say, let's go to Libya. And we had some cigars. Oh, next week we were smoking those cigars in Tripoli, you know. But Libya took far more time, longer time and far more lives than we expected to take. And today, you know, like I'm not sure about the price that I'm getting because every picture that I show here shows like the future of someone being violently, you know, with, stopped with violence. The, the, the future will not exist anymore. So my question is, how can I contribute for the future of Libya as a whole to become something? I don't know that. I don't know the, ones, the answer. But the thing is, like, um, I'm very, 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 very proud that I was close to people like uh, Chris, Chris Shivers. I don't know where you're sitting, but you know inspire me very much. I'm very proud that I was close to people like Mary Colvin, you know, because I, I think that people with her credibility, it takes for the good and for the, for the worst, very, very long time to, to build. Remy was a very young guy, nice guy, who was asking me, hey man, can you has, help me to select the pictures for the World Press? And you know, I think that it's, uh, you know, it's thank you for, for this. And, um, and thank you, Mary. Thank you very much. Thank Mary very much. Thank all the people that I love very much, my wife, my kids, you know.
I love them very much. Okay, thank you.